uphill with maybe here. Welcome to my anime review, something new I've been doing recently. Basically, every week, I'll give you a view of an anime that I've liked or disliked, depending on how it ends up in detail, and I will give you a link to watch it online, because copyright and shit. There are preferences to my, these animes. Usually, I'll like them, but most of the time, I'll try and find an anime anime. Uh, animes that you will not see on here is... Uh, High on the list, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, and Fairy Tale, for the reason that they are probably way too far in the story, and I may watch some of them, but I just don't don't want to like start it again and try and get into that kind of stuff. This week's anime is Hayore Narcosan. Yes, this title is weird, and so is the anime. Before we start, I must say that there are some adult slash mature slash teen subject matter, so if you are sensitive or uh, the, the weird uh, sexual shit, please leave, uh, go, uh, go, run away, because shit's about to get really weird. Now, this anime only has an English sub at the moment, so like usual, let's get into it. Now, following the usual review outlines, I will only explain the most important points in this anime series, like the characters, the story, setting, relationships, the voice actors, the animations, the music, and the genre. Genre is always at first. Now, this anime has sci-fi, slash action, slash romance, and mature subject matter. A lot of etchy shit, and there might be nudity, I don't really remember, but no action. Except for maybe kissing, if you even count it as action. And I'll say this again, this shit is fucked up, so if you're not into this kind of stuff, then run, because I can say it's not bad. So, uh, let's move on. This setting is basically Japan, uh, a bit more technologically advanced. Now, they don't uh, specify uh, where they really are, and uh, all we really know about the setting is that they're very big on their entertainment, their Japanese entertainment. This anime takes place mostly at the main character's home and his school. school. Uh, then there's the weird other worldish places they end up that I don't really know how to uh, describe, so uh, let's just continue on to the characters. First is my hero Yasuka. He is the main character of this anime, and he's the only important character that is a human. He is an average guy until one day he's almost abducted by aliens, uh, and a different alien saved him from becoming a slave from an alien. But uh, more about that later. My hero is the kind of guy who just wants to relax and just uh, he ends up in this all this alien crap. He likes video games and accidentally has the ability to attract aliens of the opposite sex and the same gender. Be ready because shit's about to get weird. Weird. Next is Nyarko Nyarlathotep. Uh, she is an alien of the race of Nyarlathotepians. I don't really know how to uh, pronounce it, but she can transform and, as such, stays in her human form. She is an eccentric girl who loves video games and earth culture and entertainment. She is sent to Earth to work as Marcus Mahiro's guard from aliens trying to sell him to other aliens as slaves, but she didn't end up in this job by coincidence. She begged for the job after seeing the picture of Mahiro, which she explains is as love of first sight. Aww, still fucked up because she's an alien. She loves my hero and tries anything she can to make him love her. She's going so far as to breaking into the bathroom while he's taking a bath. She cray cray. Even though even though she's obviously crazy, she still loves my hero and tries anything she can to protect him, even if she messes up in the process. Her power is that she can fight uh, with a crowbar and a bodysuit. Nothing really special. Next is Kuko Kthuga. She is a Kthugan, which are the mortal enemies of the Narlathotaps, and is an old rival of Nyarko's from middle school. She went to Earth to find Nyarko and to take her back and make her her wife. Wife, I said. Did I, I did say mature church subject matter. Nyarko obviously doesn't want any of that, but Kuko still tries as much as she can, going so far as to go as far as Nyarko would go for Makiro. She loves video games, and almost is always playing something. She has the power over fire and magic floating laser cannons. And lastly is Hasta Hasta. He is a Hesteran who came to Earth to find Mahiro's mother for an unknown reason, and after meeting Mahiro, Hasta quickly falls in love with Mahiro. Shit just keeps getting weirder. Don't forget, I did say he. What the, what the fuck the fuck do I even watch? I, I don't even- He is somewhat of a childless person who looks very young and has the power of wind control. Now to explain the story, basically the two girl aliens and the one guy alien all protect my hero from alien human traffickers. While Hasta tries to win my hero's affection, Nyarko tries to win my hero's affection, Kugo is trying to win Nyarko's affection. <laughs> Weird ass shit. Now the animations. The animations were okay, it wasn't very good to me. It was very cartoony, a bit too cartoony, even if it was supposed to be for a romantic comedy anime. There were fighting going on, but when there was, I felt like everything was out of place because the animation style was different from what you would see from an anime with a lot of violence. 
Now with the voice actors, the voice actors were very, very good, and they all fit their characters very well, except for my heroes. Nyarko, Kukos, and Hasta, all their voice actors kind of fit into their character, and they play very well. My hero sounded too girlish and was somewhat, anno somewhat annoying at times. You would imagine the main character would get the manliest voice in an anime, but nope, his best friend did, who wasn't even really relevant until like the last two episodes. I mean, come on. Now for the music, the theme song was great and upbeat and fit the anime style very well. Now it was sung by Nyarkos, Kukos, and another character by the name of Tamao, who I thought was irrelevant, and it was sung by their voice actors. I like when animes have the characters sing the opening, it just makes everything more fun for me. The ending, the ending theme was very calm and very nice, it's the kind of song that you listen to when you were going to bed, and uh, the background music was meh. I didn't really pay attention to it because it wasn't, it wasn't the most, like, memorable. I, I wouldn't put any of it on my iPod. And now for the rating part of these reviews. As a rating, I'll split it up into five different categories. Voice acting, animation, story, characters, and the overall enjoyability. Voice acting, 15 out of 20. The voices were all good, but when the main character's best friend has a better voice actor than the main character, you know there's something wrong. Other than that, the other voice actors were all good, and Yarko's voice actor is pretty popular considering I've heard her in like five different animes by now, and she'll be back for the Christmas special. Hint, special. Hint, hint. Animation, 16 out of 20. The animations weren't bad. In fact, I'd say they were good for economy the anime, but the problem I had was when the fight scenes came in, the characters looked so out of place because they were in a cartoony, uh, they were so cartoony, uh, while the backgrounds looked all evil and shit. Story, 10 out of 20. The story was fucking weird, especially for those who aren't okay with homosexual subject matter. I'm not saying I'm not okay with it, but still, in this anime, it was weird, considering my hero didn't even do anything with any of them except maybe Narco by accident or by force, not to mention that there isn't isn't really any arcs or anything until the last few episodes. Characters 15 out of 20, the characters were weird as fuck, but that's good for a comedic anime. Uh, it was weird to me how my hero acted like he wanted nothing to do with any of the girls slash guy, not to mention my hero was such a fucking pussy, he could've got laid like 17 times by now when instead he stabbed Narco Nyar with a fork. What a fucking pussy. Enjoyability, 20 out of 20, this is where the anime gets good. The whole weird characters, weird story, and good voice acting made this whole anime as enjoyable as it could be. I watched every episode of this anime in one day, and I don't usually do that with anime. This one got me sucked in to see what fucked up shit they'd get into, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. And the overall score, 76 out of 176% at B grade for this anime. I hope you enjoyed the video in the description. There should be a link to watch it free online. No download because of copyright reasons. So for now, you'll be only be getting a link unless I feel like you need to download it because, because I can't find a link. Sorry, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stop